hi, welcome to Bearded Meeple. Today, we're going to take a look at a card game, and while it may be light on theme, the artwork is very well done, cute, and fun. The game is very easy to learn, it's all about hand management, and I actually really enjoyed playing it. It's for two to four players, ages 10 plus, and it'll play in about 25 to 45 minutes. It's Watchmen of Destiny. Let's take a look at it. There are three types of cards in the game. Items, Tents, and Watchmen. An item card will give you an ability, tell you how many cards to draw, as well as how many actions you'll receive. Each card is marked to indicate if you use it, depending on the number of players. A tent card will track the actions of a watchman. You're only allowed seven tents in your personal play area. The watchmen all have a point value, but these cards also have money on them because you can use them as watchmen in a tent or spend them to buy other cards. There are six different types of watchmen, but only five different actions available in the game. Each card also comes with a different number of actions. The five classes include Warrior, Assassin, Mage, Hunter, and Ninja, each of them having a different ability in the game. Card usage is determined by the number of players. In a three-player game, you will select four races and shuffle them together. Players will also receive three item cards. Whoever has the necklace must go first. When you deal out the Watchman cards, you do so until a player has at least five gold. You're ready to begin. There are four steps on a turn. Pick out an item for the round, purchase tents, hire the Watchman, perform actions. The first step, picking an item, is mandatory, but there are a few things to consider. How many cards you'll be able to draw, how many actions you'll receive, and if the icon at the middle bottom of the card is red, it's mandatory that you perform the ability. Each tent you purchase costs one gold. You may have up to seven tents and therefore seven watchmen in your play area. You may hire one watchman per round, but you must have a free tent to place them in. The card will show you how many actions that character will receive, placing the card appropriately on the tent. It also shows you which type of action that character can do. The point value is also the cost. For me to get this character, I would have to pay four gold. I only have three, so I wouldn't be able to buy them. And therefore, your item card will show you how many actions you can take around. Your watchman will show you how many actions they can perform that round and which type of action they can do. After performing their action, the watchman would move up on the tent, showing they can no longer do that action again in the game. Once an item has been used, players will start the next round with a new item, always having three at their disposal. So as you play the game, you're getting new items, purchasing new cards, doing your actions that you're allowed, enabling the abilities, hopefully being the first to get seven watchmen and triggering game end. Final scoring and any modifiers that happen at game end will take place. The person with the most points will win. And that, my friends, is Watchmen of Destiny. A couple of things I'd like to say. On the surface, it may seem like a light game, but it does still offer you a chance at some strategies. Everyone starts with their item card. It's going to give you an ability, tell you how many cards to draw, how many actions to take. The tent cards. I thought these were a great idea, because in a lot of games, people will be like, Oh, did I do one or two things, or, or how many actions does that guy have left? Now, you can actually track them, and that was a nice touch to the game. And then, you have the Watchman cards. 
The thing is, you are going to be able to spend these to buy other cards, but there's only five types of actions, and each card can only do one of them, so you have to plan on how you're going to manipulate them so you can get the most points and win. I enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.